Hi guys, John here. Yeah, I've been working on a little video of my uh, Workmaster 25 New Holland tractor. We bought it, what was it, uh, year before last. And since then we've, we've enjoyed it. We had it late, late in the season. August, I think, was our anniversary date. Let's see how she starts up. It's like 20 degrees this morning, so it's cold. Turn the key on. See the dial, the lights come on. That little glow plug light comes on. That little orange or yellow one right there. When that goes off, that's when I hit the key. I gotta be stepping on the clutch to do it. Fire's right up. I'm gonna let it sit and warm up for a minute. Okay, so I let her warm up a little bit. Go scoop up some gravel. I just want to show you guys how she scoops. I might want to gear it down a little bit. Put it in uh, mid-range. Level my bucket out. Come into the pile. That pile is frozen. So I got me an ice scoop of gravel. That's not a full scoop. Like I said, the pile, that pile got froze up. It's really cold out. Alright, let's try it again before we'll drive. My little lever down here. Doesn't want to engage. There we go. I like the standard shift. I'm just working the clutch with my heel and foot. Okay, now, the way I got her pushed in there, she won't lift at me. Now she will. I let off the clutch. That is a heavy scoop of gravel right there. That's a full bucket. She goes. Nice. Really handy little tractor. Back in the barn. So we're getting close to our 50 hour first service interval. Yep. We pretty much like everything about this tractor except for a couple little things I would change, right Con? Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, the top things I like about it are the size of it. That's the number one thing I like about it. Because like the Kubotas we looked at, it seems like you either go really small, you know, and you're more of a subcompact, or you go just a little bit too big or you get like a tractor that's this size in Kubota but it's way more expensive but this for the price point and to be able to have this full size compact tractor is kind of cool it's about the biggest tractor you can get for the horsepower it is and the horsepower thing is the tier for keeps you out of the emissions nonsense there's no computer nonsense one thing that struck me there's no 4x4 four four indicator light. And the other day we were pulling it off, I pulled it off my down my driveway, I drove it all the way down the street to Jake's house in yeah. four wheel drive on the hard pavement. Because yeah. I didn't take a look at it. I mean, you just gotta make sure you shift it out of four wheel drive. Uh, it's not a bells and whistles. It's not the Boomer series. This is the Workmaster series, so it's simple. But I, that's what we want in a tractor. I want it simple. And yeah, so I still you. like to have a 4x4 four four indicator yeah, light. Yeah, well, hey. There's a 4x4. Four four. Everything's marked clearly. It's not... Actually, it's just to keep me from being an idiot. So, yeah, exactly. so it's an idiot light, and I didn't, I didn't pass. We're in four-wheel drive right now, which it's just because our ground's getting a little muddy. I don't want to spin tires outside, and so we have it in four-wheel drive. You got to be careful on hard corners. You don't chew up your turf. So they're not turf tires, but they, they're pretty good. But well, that was another thing. We got the R4 tires on it yeah. because we wanted a blend between real ag tires, which really dig in good and tear up your yard, and turf tires, which don't tear up your yard, but they also don't move. You get on anything slippery, wet grass, anything, they tend not to be able to move. Well, we needed it for, we wanted to try and get 
everything we could out of one tractor. So we needed it for mowing a lawn. So it does have the belly mower, which is about the 66 inch. It's the biggest, it's pretty much the biggest tractor you can still use a belly mower with without getting a lot of digs and stuff like that. Yeah. That's what you start running into. But. And uh, we wanted the bucket, obviously, with uh, a third function attachment so we could put a grapple on it or any other crazy thing. And because uh, we're going to bring it to our other property and maybe use it in the woods, clean up brush and load logs, that type of thing. Yeah, we want to utilize this tractor as full as we can. Yeah. We have uh, we, we have Red Rock Barbecue, which we got an acre and a half of mowing to do. We do. It takes, and I could do it in just over an hour with this. I would say we've got a big hill out back. It's got a climb. So 25 horse, it's the limit of its power range to really yeah. mow fast and yeah. get it done. You got to gear down on the hill a little yeah. bit. It's, it doesn't have... If you want a big, powerful tractor, you should ratchet up to the 35 horse. Yeah. The turbo and the computer nonsense. Or 40. Yeah. But then you're into or tier four. four and you're, you've got, you've got to do the regen and all that yeah. stuff. This is the belly mower we got with it. Pretty rugged. I mean, it's all quarter inch or 3 16th steel. It's real. It's heavy. And it goes on and off pretty quick and easy. Once we put this on, it'll stay on for the summer. But we'll do a little bit more mowing unless we have to do some specialized job somewhere, which I don't think we're going to run into too much of that this summer, but we'll see. But yeah, it's a, it's a rugged setup. Drive right over it to put it on, so it's got to be strong. Tractor itself weighed in at what, Connor? 2,600, I think, or 25 something. And we're just over 3,000 pounds total because we loaded the back tires. That's a huge factor. I, it was $400 to load the back tires extra. I wouldn't even consider not loading the tires. Yeah, because with the load in the front, it's already. You already want four wheel drive so you don't spin the rears. 1600 pound lift capacity on the bucket, which is nice. Yeah. Can't do a whole ton or nothing, but we can do 1600 pounds. That's quite a bit. It's actually looked to me, if I remember right, when I was looking in comparison charts and things, it was about the best in class for that. I think the motor's a Sabara. I can't remember. It's Japanese. Those Japanese. Well, they do build quality stuff. They do. Used to be, it was we all. used to pick on Mark with his Toyota, but. Yeah. Their stuff doesn't seem to break. Hondas, you can't argue about Hondas. No. Dirt bikes, generators. Yeah, they everything. Good. Good. Oh. Good stuff. <laughs> they pull more. They pull more. That's all it is, huh? Yeah, it just is going to pull they more do. than a hydrostatic ever will. The benefit of a hydrostatic is quick direction change and, uh, you know, on inexperienced operators. Yeah. That's the benefit of a hydrostatic. Yeah. But we've got that lever right there, which is forward and reverse. Shuttle. So it's pretty quick for back. It for is. Forward and back. It is. And it doesn't grind. Yeah. So I no, don't know exactly how they did that, but you can go forward and reverse. You stop, shift, and, low, and go you, backwards. In low, you can, you oh, can yeah. just do the lever. Yeah. If you're creeping. What do you mean? Without the clutch? Yeah. What? I haven't done that. You can't. All right. And then what we got here? Okay. First, second, third, and yeah, fourth. Exactly. Then this is your speed shift. That between that and the throttle pedal, you can pretty much shift that like a car in high range. Yeah, I double clutch a little. Do you? Mm hmm. To That's prevent shifting. grinding. It just shifts. I've always just shifted it. Yeah. Right. And then on this side, we've got this lever. And then here's your ranges. So that gives you. So you got low, medium, high, and low is creepy. Man, it. 12 speeds. It's 12 forward speeds and back. forward and back, so. which is cool. There's the clutch. I, it's, I think it's pretty good. Now, now that's not synchro at all. But you really got to come to a complete stop to shift your ranges. I'm like six foot one. My legs are right up to the wheel. You're that short? I'm that short. I thought you were taller than that. Huh. Must be, I'm shorter than I thought I was. Yeah, whatever. Five, ten. I'm always one inch too <laughs> short. So, I mean, it's not bad. You can hit the pedals pretty good. I, I've sat on this thing for four hours straight already. Yeah. We do have the seat all the way back. The seat's all the way back. It's not bad. I mean, you can lean back and be comfortable. Yeah. 
Even put your legs out here a little. 25 horse to keep us below emissions. A 25 horse is not a powerhouse either, right, Con? No. I mean, your typical brush hog. You're not going out and like brush hog and giant multi floral rows. No. And if you wanted a brush hog, the width of the tractor, the tractor is basically 66 inches wide. Mm -hmm. The bucket is 67 and a half inches wide at the cutting edge. You'd want at least a six ideally, foot brush you'd hog. A, you'd want a five or a six foot brush hog. That ain't happening. No, you Unless can't you're run it. Grass. I mean, but I don't know. A brush hog is so hard on equipment. We've got an old tractor with a six foot brush hog. We do that. Oh, well, we do, but people go out and buy new tractors and brush hog. Yeah, and if their property isn't completely grown up, they can probably whack down, you know, grass. Grass and small brush. So if you got a small meadow or something, that's not bad. But if you're trying to reclaim property, you might want to hire it out if you're yeah. going to buy a tractor this size. Yeah, 25 horse is not going to do that. Which really, hire somebody for a thousand bucks, they come and brush hog your seven acre field. Beat the hell out of their brush hog yeah, and everything. Yeah, let them beat up stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And you know, cut down some trees. Over and then, there. Yeah, and then from there you can maintain it. Yeah. But you're, yeah, well, you're, this is this tractor, I mean, it, you're not going to bale hay. Uh, you're not going to, uh, you could rake hay with something like this. I'd rake, I'd pull a rake with this. Small rake, not like a double windrow big thing. Maybe small, like those old new idea rakes. I'll pull that around. Uh, four wheel drive's awesome. It's also got differential lock, which is a nice little feature. You stomp that down and you, you know, locks up your back wheels. Even mowing grass on a wet day, going up that hill, which is pretty steep, I hit the differential lock. And we bought it with the mid-mount PTO. Yeah, that was an additional. Yeah, so it's an electric activated PTO switch right here. That's the most complicated thing, I think, is on the tractor, is, is this electric switch. And then you've got to gauge, actually, I'm not sure it disengages the rear PTO. I think all it really does is engage the mid PTO. Right. So you could have you both PTOs right. running. Yes. And you cannot get off the tractor with that engaged. Yeah, it'll shut it it'll off. It'll shut the tractor right. off. So you got to lift that lever, and then and when you do that, you hit that switch, and that engages the PTO. For the I'm not board. real keen on electric PTOs. I mean, I always have it idled down, start to imp implement, and then rev it up. Because I don't like that Screech. instantaneous yeah. electronic clutch yeah. snapping in and just, you know, going crazy with PTO. But I don't know how that works on this. Oh, hey, you know, it doesn't seem like, as far as complicated things go, a little switch is not that complicated. I no, it's very uncomplicated. Yeah. I just, I just like something yeah, I can. Until it goes bad. <laughs> I know. I well, like we're something. We're warranty, luckily, so. Which is another thing, good thing. Was it a ten-year powertrain? It was warranty? ten years. I mean, we plan on using it. Yeah. Good yeah, that's pretty good coverage. Yep. I mean, that's powertrain. All kinds of other crap can go wrong. <laughs> we'll have yeah, to... which really that switch wouldn't be covered. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, would it? Probably not. I don't know. Uh, maybe we could bug them enough to... I hope I never find out. I just don't like on-off PTOs. I like to be able to slip the clutch in. Uh, that's what I don't like about the electric PTO. It's the only thing I really don't like about the tractor is the electric PTO, but hey, man, it works, so whatever. you got to put the brush guard down to open the hood. I mean, at least it's not just nicking it every time. You no, know, I like having a brush guard. And there's and a prop rod, or is it doesn't got the... go. No, it's got a shock. No, oh, it's got a shot. I don't it's even remember. It's not so crazy accessible, but you can get to your main stuff. And there's that cute little teeny engine in there. <laughs> but it's just got a regular exhaust muffler and none of the extra garbage that they put on those I haven't done it yet, DPFs. but I imagine you can unpin the prop rod and go all the way. Oh, put it up higher? Yeah, if you really wanted to get in there. Yeah. It's got a little extra screen here, which we haven't got close to getting dirty. No. For the radiators. You can take the screen off and wash it, which is a nice feature. And the battery's right out front. That's cool, because a lot nice. of them, they're mounted right behind there. It's yeah, impossible to get out. Yeah. It's got a nice heavy bucket, too. That's uh, pretty meaty. Lucas Uplinger. Oh, yeah, you The tractor. Guest oh, star. Well, you didn't go out and buy one yet, did you? Uh, no, probably should. Probably should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you oughta. The other day, Connor and I were talking about the Workmaster 25, and we were bragging about it pretty good, because we really do like this tractor. It works works well. Everything seems to, seems to handle load. It's... Rated for 1,600 pounds lift. Of course, so they rate them at 1,600 pounds. It's right, right there at that pin. Yeah. I think so, so. so the further out you go, of course, the leverage changes everything. All the numbers go down from there. So. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I mean, I could scoop into that pile and get a real full bucket of pea gravel, and it's not yeah. like it struggles with it. Yeah, so. no, it works great with the bucket. I had the forks on the other day, and um, what did I do? I picked up Those three, three concrete curbs. Concrete curbs, like the kind you, you you place in front of a single a single parking spot. I mm -hmm. picked up three of them with the forks and had them all right there and lifted them up. 
off it went. Yep. They're probably, I, I'll bet they're 300 pounds a piece. 300 pounds a piece? Yeah, so it's probably like 900 pounds. And with the fork, they had a lot of leverage against it. Yeah, the forks are long. The forks are actually meant for a, I, they're like, uh, they're ton forks. They're not, they're, they're heavier forks than you would normally put on this tractor. But what we do like about it too is also it's got the skid steer head, which means we can, we can interchange. And that's why we could put those forks on there because it's got the quick hitch. Yep, which is really handy. Which is awesome. And yeah, it's pretty good. They're, they work really good. I like yep. to give it a, you gotta really kind of pull up on it. Yeah. You know, it wouldn't be a bad idea to wear gloves or if they put a rubber thing on this because the edges are a little sharp. I, well, you think they'd have pressed them up a little better. That's probably not a great thing. But you could take a grinder and do that in two seconds. Too. You could. I'll do that after I cut myself. Yeah, that, that, that's I'll for think sure. about it. That'll make, definitely make us do it. So, there was a couple things I didn't like about the tractor. And they're pretty simple, silly little things. Well, like, for instance, right here, we got the lights. I wish this worked with the key. I can actually leave lights on, not the turn signals don't. Kind of like your car. You can leave your li lights on or the hazard lights all stay on. I have no key in there right now. Well, the key's in, but it's not on. So, little guy gets on here and turns switches. You gotta watch. Yeah, that'd be you know. pretty easy to forget about. Because there's, there's no chime for it, like in your car. Yep. You know. Other thing I don't like about it is right here. As hard as I hit, the horn don't work. Because <laughs> there's no horn. But, <laughs> not a big deal on a tractor, but I do, I use the horn on the backhoe. I mean, yeah, to do. get somebody's to, attention. To or, alert people, or it's kind of handy, because yep. It's, otherwise you're yelling and people don't like being yelled at. <laughs> They'd rather be have the horn blown at them. <laughs> They'd rather be honked at, yeah. yeah. Uh, the other thing I would change, if, if I had druthers, I'd put a bigger fuel tank on it. This tank is barely five gallons and yeah, you mowing. Yeah, through it pretty quick. I go through it. It yeah. goes through it plenty quick enough. Other than that, nice little tractor. Show them the clutch lock. Don't do that all the they time. They actually have a little feature on here where you can step the clutch down, flip this little lever to lock the clutch for long-term long storage so the clutch don't stick. It's kind of clever. Because that happens sometimes. Um, if this sat for a year, if it's sat for a year, you probably don't need it. The, but anyway. The clutch could, yeah, exactly. If you let it but people do. I mean, they don't use them. But. And the clutches will stick. I, I, What did I have? Oh, the Jeep we had. Yeah. Actually, the Jeep you have. Then you're trying to stuck. break it free by driving it in low range with the hitting the brakes and stuff. <laughs> Which it finally did break free. Yeah. That has been fine ever since. Yeah, Bring up to New Holland. That's where we got this tractor. And we like uh, Matt up there. He really helped us out as far, as far as deciding and financing and everything. Yep. So everything was real easy. We need it for this business. We need it. Plus it helps us with our other business. We got all this yard to mow. Yep. And then anytime we got to move something, we got the tractor. I hope you liked the video. Like, share, subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.